Hi, I'm Josh Savage. I come from Winchester in the UK and I'm a musician. The music. Why Berlin? So, uh, it seems like a fun place, open-minded and uh, and then my music's doing well here. Okay, where do we start? So I was born in London, lived in Paris for 12 years, lived in Winchester, lived in York. Then I was couch surfing for quite a few years, then lived in London, now I live in Berlin. For me, London is a great place to be. There's a lot of opportunity there, but it burnt me out. And when I tried Berlin, I was a lot more inspired. I felt like I was living instead of surviving. And I felt like I could afford to have fun anyway. I don't know if I would live in Berlin forever, but for now it works. And I just take it one step at a time. If Berlin was a person. Well, they'd be all black for a start with a bottle of Club Mate on a bike with crazy hair. I love the atmosphere, especially in summer. I love how open-minded it is. I like how international it is. And I love that it's a place you can pursue your dreams. A warmer winter. I started piano at the age of four. I didn't like it. And I was eventually allowed to stop when I was nine. And then I missed it and I chose to do it again. And for me, that's the big turning point because I chose to do music, not because I felt I had to do it. And after that, I joined a choir, started to sing, picked up the guitar and trumpet along the way. And when I lived in England, I was inspired by the Brit pop culture and the bands and it inspired me to write my first songs. And I was actually raised learning classical music, but obviously now that's not the case as much. You don't wanna know. It's the most embarrassing song about a girl I sat next to in English class. And I even recorded it in my home studio and my friends still haunt me with it today. First singing in choir, classically. And then I picked up the guitar a few years later. The greatest motivation for me is that making music is a form of therapy. And because I'm quite a reserved person, so having music is my way of getting all these things out of me and it keeps me sane. Um, my motivation to get it out there is that I discovered that my honest songs that I wrote about myself were actually helping other people. I definitely used to be shy. I don't know if I'm shy anymore, but I'd say I'm still reserved in some regards. No, actually it's probably one of the only times I feel like I belong somewhere. <laughs> For me, I guess it's not a feeling I'm used to because I was always seen as the underdog. And after all these years, it's quite nice to see how that's changing. Golden Days is my last single. It's a song about, it's a nostalgic song about missing your childhood back to an age where you didn't have to think about any responsibilities. And it was a much simpler time and maybe a much happier time. I had a 
dog want I had different friends We had our fights then But they all pretend We didn't care what was around the bend Life was so The only constant change My life's all rearranged But I'm still clinging on To the golden days Oh how I miss Being foolish I was so naive then, and it was so bliss. We didn't care what was around the bend. Life was so simple then. The only constant change, my life so rearranged. But I'm still clinging on to the golden days I'm still clinging on to the golden days I don't want to change a thing But it's all slipping through my fingers I'm just clutching at the wind Ooh. 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 I'm still clinging on To the golden day I'm still clinging on to the golden days. Now I'm working on my debut album, The Long Way Round, and the next song, Citizen of the World, is a song from that album, and it's a song that's representative of my lifestyle, of how I've had the fortune to travel all, all around the world, met the most amazing people that have rekindled my faith in humanity, and it's a song that I hope will do them justice. I wrote Citizen of the World soon after Brexit was announced and for me I was very sad because I don't see myself as only English, I see myself as European and for example I've been in some very tough situations where strangers who I never met before from another place entirely, from a different culture would help me out and save the day. And I don't like the kind of mentality that's kind of happening at the moment, the fear mongering when it's not justified because I've seen the kindness of strangers and I think it's a beautiful thing. And I think it's, um, I think there's still hope, which is what the song's about. It's called The Long Way Round, which to me is representative of the way I've kind of lived my life. I've never done the more straightforward way of things. I've done what feels right, just following my feet. And for example, I've toured people's living rooms around the world, which wasn't probably the most 
but it's not the the most usual way of doing things in the music industry. And for example, when I walk home, sometimes I don't take the short way. I go the most beautiful way to make my day better. Thank you.